point of confusion lies, I think, in the word power itself. And we actually have to break that. We have to decompose that into at least two types of power. There may be more. I haven't completely crystallized my thoughts on this, but there's this, there is at least physical power or power in the pure physics definition of the term. And then there's the, I think, more often understood term, which is political power itself. And physical power, again, if we just look at the actual physics formulaic definition for power, it's the capacity to do work over time. Um, and the physics definition for work, one level deeper, is basically force projected across distance to do create displacement, physical displacement across distance. So power in the physics sense becomes force across space and time, effectively. You're actually projecting energy across space and time, essentially. Political power, on the other hand, tends to be, I think, understood as one's capacity to control or influence the social apparatus of coercion, compulsion, violence, which is government, right? That's essentially what government is. That's what the rule of law is. All of this grounds out in property, by the way, like the rights an individual has to their stuff, right? To the value that they create in the world. That's really what that layer is meant to create, this political layer. And so if, if someone is inside of the hierarchy of government, then they have some influence on its workings, right? They can use it to impose power, right? In a way that you can basically influence the, the shape of the world or outcomes by using these levers that control the apparatus, apparatus of coercion, compulsion, violence. So although they're related, you know, I do think they're different. You can be, we could say the sun is extremely powerful, right? The sun's projecting a lot of energy across space and time, but obviously it's apolitical in, in the truest sense. It, no, no matter what we do here on earth, the sun does not give a shit. It's just going to keep doing its thing. But So they're clearly different, but they're also related. And the, the example I like to draw on here is if you could somehow send a guy, more likely some guys, with, say, uh, a few Uzis and sufficient ammunition back into the 15th century, it wouldn't be long before those guys were at the top of the political power hierarchy, right? By virtue of their ability to project force across space and time in a way that no one else living in the technological realities of the 15th century could or could stand against, right? There'd be no defense effectively against that. So in many ways, the, the civilization that figures out how to project physical power most efficiently or the greatest magnitude tends to rise in the, the political power hierarchy.